Jeremiah was not only a prophet of the Lord, but he was a priest born in the village of Anadhoth. Anadhoth was located north of Jerusalem in the territory of Benjamin. His father's name was Hilkiah. In the thirteenth year of Josiah's reign, he was called to the prophetic ministry. His ministry lasted over a period of forty years. Jeremiah's ministry began in the beginning reign of Jehoiakim, through the eleventh year of Zedekiah, until the nation of Judah was carried away captive to Babylon, in 586 BC. Jeremiah was commanded by the Lord to put the divine prophecies and messages in writing, and this was after about twenty years of prophesying against Judah. The book of Jeremiah is one of the longest books in the Holy Bible. The book consists of fifty-two chapters, and includes prayers, confessions, laments, and dialogues. While the Babylonians and Medes were marching to subdue Haran and Karchemish, one of the last strongholds of Assyria, Pharaoh Nico II of Egypt, at Karchemish had killed Josiah. After his death, Judah in 605 BC became subject to Egypt and its king, Pharaoh Nico. Judah came under the control of Egypt. Then the people chose Jehoahaz to succeed the throne. Jehoahaz was 23 years old when he became king, and he reigned three months in 605 BC, in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Hamudal the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. Pharaoh Nico dethroned Jehoahaz after three months and Jehoiakim became king instead. Then Pharaoh Nico too, the Ethiopian king of Egypt put Jehoahaz in prison at Riblah, in the land of Hamath, that he might not reign in Jerusalem. Then Pharaoh of Egypt imposed on the land a tribute of one hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold. Then he made Iliakim, Josiah's other son, king, and changed his name to Jehoiakim. Jehoahaz and Iliakim were brothers. Pharaoh took Jehoahaz and carried him off to Egypt, and he died there. So after three years, Pharaoh Nico II appointed Jehoiakim to rule as his vassal on the throne in Jerusalem. Nevertheless, the people under the rule of Egypt did not turn to the Lord their God, the God of Israel, but to idols. The people turned to the same idols and worship that Ammon and Manasseh established. To this, Jeremiah the prophet was called. The words of Jeremiah, of the priests who were in Anadhoth in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. It came also in the days of Jehoiakim king of Judah, until the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the king of Judah until the carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. Jeremiah was called to be a prophet, he said, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God! Behold, I cannot speak for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, for you will go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you will speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms, to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a boiling pot, and it is facing away from the north. Then the Lord said to me, out of the north calamity will break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. For behold, I am calling all the families of the kingdoms of the north, says the Lord. They will come and each one will set his throne at the entrance of the gates of Jerusalem, against all its walls all around, and against all the cities of Judah. I will utter my judgments against them concerning all their wickedness because they have forsaken me, burned incense to other gods, and worshipped the works of their own hands. Therefore, prepare yourself and arise Jeremiah, and speak to them all that I command you. Do not be dismayed before their faces, lest I dismay you before them, for behold, I have made you this day a fortified city and an iron pillar, 
and bronze walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its princes, its priests, and against the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they will not prevail against you, for I am with you says the Lord to deliver you. Thus says the Lord concerning Shalom, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, who reigned instead of Josiah his father, who went from this place, he will not return here any more, but he will die in the place where they have led him captive, and will see this land no more. Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by injustice, who uses his neighbor's service without wages and gives him nothing for his work, who says, I will build myself a wide house with spacious chambers, and cut out windows for it, paneling it with cedar and painting it with vermilion. Should you reign because you enclose yourself in cedar? Did not your father eat and drink, and do justice and righteousness? Then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy, and then it was well. Was not this knowing me? Says the Lord. Yet your eyes and your heart are for nothing but your covetousness, for shedding innocent blood, and practicing oppression and violence. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning Jehoiakim the son of Josiah, king of Judah, they will not lament for him saying, Alas, my brother, or alas, sister. They will not lament for him saying, Alas, master, or alas, his glory. He will be buried with the burial of a donkey, dragged, and cast out beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon, and cry out, and lift up your voice in Bashan, cry from Abarim, for all your lovers are destroyed. I spoke to you in your prosperity, but you said, I will not hear. This has been your manner from your youth, that you did not obey my voice. The wind will eat up all your rulers, and your lovers will go into captivity. Surely then you will be ashamed and humiliated for all your wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, making your nest in the cedars, how gracious will you be when pangs come upon you, like the pain of a woman in labor. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came from the Lord, saying, Thus says the Lord, Stand in the court of the Lord's house, and speak to all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house. Speak all the words that I command you to speak to them. Do not diminish a word. Perhaps everyone will listen and turn from his evil way that I may relent concerning the calamity, which I purpose to bring on them because of the evil of their doings. Thus says the Lord, If you will not listen to me, to walk in my law which I have set before you, to heed the words of my servants the prophets whom I sent to you, both rising up early and sending them, but you have not heeded, then I will make this house like Shiloh, and will make this city a curse to all the nations of the earth. The priests, the prophets, and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. Now it happened, when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking all that the Lord had commanded him to speak to all the people that the priests, the prophets, and all the people seized him, saying, You will surely die. Why have you prophesied in the name of the Lord saying, This house will be like Shiloh, and this city will be desolate, without an inhabitant? And all the people were gathered against Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. When the princes of Judah heard these things, they came up from the king's house to the house of the Lord and sat down in the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house. And the priests and the prophets spoke to the princes and all the people, saying, This man deserves to die. For he has prophesied against the city, as you have heard with your ears. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the princes and all the people, saying, The Lord sent me to prophesy against this house and against the city with all the words that you have heard. Now therefore, amend your ways and your doings, and obey the voice of the Lord your God. Then the Lord will relent concerning the doom that he has pronounced against you. As for me, here I am in your hand, do with me as seems good and proper to you. But know for certain that if you put me to death, you will surely bring innocent blood on yourselves, on this city, and on its inhabitants, for truly the Lord has sent me to you to speak all these words in your hearing. Then the princes and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve to die, for he has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. 
Then certain elders of the land rose up and spoke to all the assembly of the people. They said, Micah of Morsheth prophesied in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah, and spoke to all the people of Judah saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Zion will be plowed like a field, Jerusalem will become heaps of ruins, and the mountain of the temple like the bare hills of the forest. Did Hezekiah king of Judah and all Judah ever put him to death? Did he not fear the Lord and seek the Lord's favor? And the Lord relented concerning the doom which he had pronounced against them. But we are doing great evil against ourselves. Now there was also a man who prophesied in the name of the Lord, Urijah, the son of Shemaiah of Kerjath Jerim, who prophesied against the city and against this land according to all the words of Jeremiah. And when Jehoiakim the king, with all his mighty men and all the princes heard his words, the king sought to put him to death, but when Urijah heard it, he was afraid and fled, and went to Egypt. Then Jehoiakim the king sent men to Egypt. He sent Elnathan the son of Akbar, and other men went with him to Egypt. They brought Urijah from Egypt and brought him to Jehoiakim the king, who killed him with the sword and cast his dead body into the graves of the common people. Nevertheless, Ahikam the son of Shaphan was with Jeremiah, so that they should not give him into the hand of the people to put him to death. In the beginning of Jehoiakim's reign, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Thus says the Lord to me, Make for yourselves bonds and yokes, and put them on your neck, and send them to the king of Edom, the king of Moab, the king of the Ammonites, the king of Tyre, and the king of Sidon, by the hand of the messengers who come to Jerusalem to Zedekiah king of Judah. And command them to say to their masters, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Thus you shall say to your masters, I have made the earth, the man, and the beast that are on the ground by my great power and by my outstretched arm, and have given it to whom it seemed proper to me. Now I have given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beasts of the field I have also given him to serve him. Therefore, all nations will serve him and his son and his son's son, until the time of his land ends. Moreover, it will be, that the nation and kingdom which will not serve Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon, and which will not put its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon, that nation I will punish, says the Lord. I will punish that nation with the sword, famine, and the pestilence, until I have consumed them by his hand. Therefore, do not listen to your prophets, your diviners, your dreamers, your soothsayers, or your sorcerers, who speak to you, saying, You will not serve the king of Babylon, for they prophesy a lie to you, to remove you far from your land, and I will drive you out, and you will perish. But the nations that bring their necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, I will let them remain in their own land says the Lord, and they shall till it and dwell in it. I also spoke to Zedekiah king of Judah according to all these words saying, Bring your necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him and his people, and live. Why will you die, you and your people, by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, as the Lord has spoken against the nation that will not serve the king of Babylon. Therefore, do not listen to the words of the prophets who speak to you, saying, You will not serve the king of Babylon. They prophesy a lie to you, for I have not sent them says the Lord, yet they prophesy a lie in my name, that I may drive you out, and that you may perish, you, and the prophets who prophesy to you. Also, I spoke to the priests and to all this people saying, Thus says the Lord, Do not listen to the words of your prophets who prophesy to you saying, Behold, the vessels of the Lord's house will now shortly be brought back from Babylon, for they prophesy a lie to you. Do not listen to them, serve the king of Babylon and live. Why should this city be laid waste? But if they are prophets, and if the word of the Lord is with them, let them now make intercession to the Lord of hosts, that the vessels which are left in the house of the Lord, in the house of the king of Judah, and at Jerusalem, do not go to Babylon. Thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the pillars, the sea, the carts, and concerning the remainder of the vessels that remain in the city, which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon did not take when he carried away captive Jehoiakim the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, from Jerusalem to Babylon, 
and all the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem, yes, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, concerning the vessels that remain in the house of the Lord, and in the house of the king of Judah and of Jerusalem, they will be carried to Babylon, and there they will be until the day that I visit them says the Lord. Then I will bring them up and restore them to this place. Now it happened in the fourth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Take a scroll of a book and write on it all the words that I have spoken to you against Israel, against Judah, and against all the nations from the day I spoke to you, from the days of Josiah even to this day. It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the adversities which I purpose to bring upon them, that everyone may turn from his evil way that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Jeremiah called Barak the son of Neriah, and Barak wrote on a scroll of a book at the instruction of Jeremiah, all the words of the Lord which he had spoken to him. And Jeremiah commanded Barak saying, I am confined, I cannot go into the house of the Lord. You go, and read from the scroll, which you have written at my instruction, the words of the Lord, in the hearing of the people in the Lord's house on the day of fasting. You will also read to them in the hearing of all Judah who come from their cities. It may be that they will present their supplication before the Lord, and everyone will turn from his evil way. For great is the anger and the fury that the Lord has pronounced against this people. And Barak did according to all that Jeremiah commanded him, reading from the book the words of the Lord in the Lord's house. Now it happened in the fifth year of Jehoiakim king of Judah, in the ninth month, that they proclaimed a fast before the Lord to all the people in Jerusalem, and to all the people who came from the cities of Judah to Jerusalem. Then Barak read from the book the words of Jeremiah in the house of the Lord, in the chamber of Gemariah the son of Shaphan the scribe, in the upper court at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house, in the hearing of all the people. When Michiah the son of Gemariah heard all the words of the Lord from the book, he then went down to the king's house, into the scribe's chamber, and there all the princes were sitting, Elishamah the scribe, Deliah the son of Shemaiah, Elnathan the son of Akbar, Gemariah the son of Shaphan, Zedekiah the son of Hananiah, and all the princes. Then Michiah declared to them all the words that he had heard when Barak read the book in the hearing of the people. Then, all the princes sent Jehudi the son of Nethaniah, the son of Shalemiah, the son of Cushi, to Barak saying, Take in your hand the scroll from which you have read in the hearing of the people, and come. So Barak took the scroll in his hand and came to them. And they said to him, Sit down now, and read it in our hearing. So Barak read it in their hearing. Now it happened, when they had heard all the words that they looked in fear from one to another, and said to Barak, We will surely tell the king of all these words. Then they asked Barak saying, Tell us now, how did you write all these words, at Jeremiah's instruction? So Barak answered them, he proclaimed with his mouth all these words to me, and I wrote them with ink in the book. Then the princes said to Barak, Go and hide you and Jeremiah, and let no one know where you are. They went to the king into the court, but they stored the scroll in the chamber of Elishama the scribe, and told all the words in the hearing of the king. So the king sent Jehudi to bring the scroll, and he took it from Elishama the scribe's chamber. And Jehudi read it in the hearing of the king and in the hearing of all the princes who stood beside the king. Now the king was sitting in the winter house in the ninth month, with a fire burning on the hearth before him. It happened, when Jehudi had read three or four columns that, the king cut it with the scribe's knife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth until all the scroll was consumed in the fire. Yet they were not afraid nor did they tear their garments, the king, nor any of his servants who heard all these words. Nevertheless, Elnathan, Deliah, and Gemariah plead with the king not to burn the scroll, but he would not listen to them. And the king commanded Jeremiel the king's son, Sireah the son of Israel, and Shalemiah the son of Abdeel, to seize Barak the scribe and Jeremiah the prophet, but the Lord hid them. Now after the king had burned the scroll with the words, which Barak had written at the instruction of Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, Take yet another scroll and write on it all the former words that were in the first scroll, which Jehoiakim the king of Judah has burned. 
and you will say to Jehoiakim king of Judah, Thus says the Lord, You have burned this scroll saying Why have you written in it that the king of Babylon will certainly come and destroy this land, and cause man and beast to cease from here? Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning Jehoiakim king of Judah, He will have no one to sit on the throne of David, and his dead body will be cast out to the heat of the day and the frost of the night. I will punish him, his family, and his servants for their iniquity, and I will bring on them, on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and on the men of Judah all the doom that I have pronounced against them, but they did not heed. Then Jeremiah took another scroll and gave it to Barak the scribe, who wrote on it at the instruction of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim king of Judah had burned in the fire. Besides, there were added to them many similar words. Now Judah was already under the rule of Egypt. Jehoiakim gave the silver and gold to Pharaoh, and Jehoiakim taxed the land to give money according to the command of Pharaoh. He exacted the silver and gold from the people of the land, from everyone according to his assessment, to give it to Pharaoh Necho. Jehoiakim did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. In his days, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came up, and Jehoiakim became his vassal for three years. Then he turned and rebelled against him. And the Lord sent against him raiding bands of Chaldeans, bands of Syrians, bands of Moabites, and bands of the people of Ammon. He sent them against Judah to destroy it, according to the word of the Lord, which he had spoken by his servants the prophets. Surely, at the commandment of the Lord this came upon Judah, to remove them from his sight because of the sins of Manasseh, according to all that he had done, and because of the innocent blood that he had shed, for he had filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, which the Lord would not pardon. Nebuchadnezzar came up against him, and bound him in bronze fetters to carry him off to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar also carried off some of the articles from the house of the Lord to Babylon, and put them in his temple at Babylon. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoiakim, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? Therefore, Jehoiakim rested with his fathers. Then Jehoiakim his son reigned in his place. Moreover, the king of Egypt did not come out of his land any more, for the king of Babylon had taken all that belonged to the king of Egypt from the brook of Egypt to the river Euphrates. Thank you for listening. If you have been blessed by this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.